Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Black Wolf, back with another story. And this one's a monster. We're talking about the Airbus A380, the biggest passenger plane ever built. This thing was supposed to be the future of aviation, a masterpiece of engineering that could move people across the globe like never before. Airlines were tripping over themselves to get their hands on it, and passengers, they were psyched to fly in luxury. But then, something changed. The a 380 star began to fade. Airlines started ditching it, and the orders dried up faster than a puddle in Death Valley. What happened? How did the aviation world's golden child become its problem child? That's what we're diving into today. Let's talk about the elephant, or should I say the Airbus in the room, the A380's operating costs. This thing guzzled jet fuel like it was going out of style. Four engines, massive wings, all that space, it added up to a whole lot of fuel burned per passenger. In a world increasingly focused on efficiency and rising fuel prices, the A380 started looking like a gas-guzzling dinosaur. And we all know what happened to the dinosaurs, right? Airlines felt the pinch, especially on those long-haul flights where every drop of fuel counts. It got to the point where flying the A380 was like trying to fill a swimming pool with a teaspoon, possible but not very practical. Something had to change, and fast. The A380 was built on a gamble, a gamble that passengers wanted to fly in jumbo jets and that airlines could fill all those seats. Turns out, the market had other plans. See, instead of these massive planes, passengers were opting for more frequent, direct flights on smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft. Who wants to deal with the hassle of huge airports and connecting flights when you can fly direct, right? Plus, airlines realized that filling a 500-plus seater behemoth was no easy feat. It was like trying to throw a party and hoping 500 of your closest friends would show up every single time. The economics just didn't make sense. Picture this. The global economy takes a hit, fuel prices go through the roof, and suddenly airlines are scrambling to cut costs. What's the first thing to go? You guessed it. Those expensive to run A380s. It was a tough decision, but a necessary one for airlines fighting to stay afloat. And if that wasn't enough, the environment threw another punch. The A380's massive size meant a massive carbon footprint. With growing concerns about climate change, the A380 became a symbol of excess in an industry striving for sustainability. The writing was on the wall. The A380's days were numbered. Then came 2020, and the world slammed on the brakes. The COVID-19 pandemic hit the aviation industry harder than a right hook from Mike Tyson. Travel restrictions, border closures, and a general fear of flying grounded planes worldwide. And guess which giant aircraft was hit the hardest? The A380, with its massive capacity, was suddenly a liability. Airlines were bleeding money, and flying near-empty super jumbos was like throwing cash out the window at 35,000 feet. The pandemic was the knockout punch for many A380s, sending them into early retirement. While the A380 was struggling to stay afloat, a new generation of aircraft was waiting in the wings. Boeing's 787 Dreamliner and Airbus's own A350, these planes were sleek, fuel efficient, and could fly long distances without needing a pit stop every five minutes. They were like the Teslas of the skies, quieter, smoother, and way more eco-friendly. Airlines, always looking for an edge, started swapping out their gas-guzzling A380s for these leaner, meaner flying machines. It was a no-brainer. The future of aviation had arrived, and it wasn't a super jumbo. So, what happens to these aviation giants now? Some airlines are holding onto their A380s, hoping for a post-pandemic travel boom. Others are sending them to the desert, those aircraft graveyards where planes go to retire. But finding buyers for these used super jumbos is like trying to sell a Hummer during a gas crisis. The market just isn't there. The A380, once a symbol of aviation's ambition, is now a reminder that even the grandest ideas can fall victim to changing times. It's a bittersweet end for an aircraft that captured the imaginations of many. So, there you have it the rise and fall of the Airbus A380. From engineering marvel to economic burden, 
the A380 story is a cautionary tale of ambition, changing markets, and the unforgiving nature of the aviation industry. It teaches us that bigger isn't always better, that fuel efficiency is king, and that even the most iconic aircraft can become obsolete. As we look to the future of aviation, the A380's legacy will likely be one of innovation and a reminder that the only constant is change. And on that note, I'm out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more stories from the world of aviation. Peace.